Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Katie, and today we're going to be continuing part two and finishing up our page in Isaiah 43, which is what we did on Monday, doing a chalk pastel background. It's all covered and all nice with um, hairspray so it's sealed in. There's no added color on the other page because it was all sealed, so that worked out nicely. Um, so I will link that video down in the description below if you missed it and you want to check out how to use chalk pastels in your Bible. So today I'm going to be showing you another different technique. It's a lot of fun. What you will need is if you have a palette, which I couldn't find mine right now, so I'm just going to use a piece of paper that I have. And we are going to be going and using acrylic paint over our chalk pastel background. And I'm just going to use this to protect the back of my page. Okay. So then, when you're ready to go in, you're going to need either an old, um, either an old business card or an old playing card. I'm using an old playing card today because most people have that lying around the house when you're missing cards. So Keep, keep your missing cards from your decks because you can use them for this project and you can also use them for if you want to send happy mail. You can wrap washi tape around these for washi tape samples and you can fit a good four or five samples on here. So today I wanted to use the same colors that are in the um, painting here. So I'm going to go in with some dark purple, yellow, and light purple. So the ones I'm using are... Nicole are, I think, two Nicoles and one Apple Barrel paint. So the Apple Barrel paint is Lilac Mist, and then Nicole colors are Bright Yellow and Mystical Grape. So those are the colors we will be using today. I'm just going to be working on this piece of paper right here. But you just want to squirt some, make sure it's mixed first. But you just want to put some on the paper. You don't have to worry about it being neat or anything because it's not going to stay on the paper. I'm just using this as my very easy to find palette just so I can put my color down. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, you can start from light. I usually start from the lighter color to the darker color and I'm not going to cover up the words. I'm just going to work on this part. Acrylic is fairly easy though to go over words where it won't cover up too much. But you're just going to scrape your paint on your card. And then you're just going to go in and you're going to make spots. And I want to go over a little bit. And you can scrape it off so you can still see the words. As long as you don't aren't heavy handed with your paint, you can, you can go over the words and it won't cover up anything and you can still have fun. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter purple and I'm just going to put a little bit because I don't want too much to start off with. And I'm just going to go in and mix the purple in there. And this is just a fun thing. If, you don't, if you're not worried about any mess and you just want it to be really pretty and fun, then this is a fun project to do with your kids. It's good just if you want to have fun and just go for it. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the darker. And this is just a really fast and fun tutorial. And you can do, you can go the other way if you want to. And when it dries, you'll be able to see the words underneath as well. I 
And what you can do if you want, I'm gonna take the end here, just the corner, and I'm gonna dip it into the darker purple, and I'm gonna make little, kind of little drips down. So, kind of has like an abstract feel and a little bit more funness to it. And you don't have to worry about acrylic paint covering up anything or um, bleed through or anything because acrylic paint's really awesome to where it doesn't bleed through really at all. And even if it did, you can always do something behind your page. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow into that corner there. And then what you're going to do is, after it's done, you're going to take your hair dryer and you are going to dry it. Okay, now that that is dry, um, not everything is dry, but just the part that I needed to be dry, it is done and dry. And what you can do is go ahead and go in with a paper towel if there's any more wet spots and just kind of dab at it. Because I just need a few of these parts and I actually kind of like the look of it. It kind of looks more like a bubble effect, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into the rest of the color kind of looks like bursting bubbles a little bit which I like that look actually even more I'm just gonna dab in and the rest will dry when I need it but for now I just needed the bottom part dry for our last little bit of fun that we're gonna do I'm gonna add some stamping to it
just went in with some of the same color ink that I used for the stamping and I just filled those letters in because I like the way it stood out a little bit more on the page and you can see the words do not fear written on that a lot clearer and a lot better. So I just used the black color from Colorbox that I used for this stamp. Used a um, brush, a watercolor brush that I had and I just filled in the letters to make them more stand out. So I'm just going to show you really quick what verse I did this for. We're going to highlight that verse together. Um, I did it for Isaiah 43, verse, see, verse 1. But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. So I'm just going to go in and gently mark this part and I use a micron pen because it doesn't bleed through it is permanent it's waterproof so you don't have to worry about if you do want to put watercolor over your highlighting you can because and you don't have to worry about that so that was the finished product I hope you like it um wasn't too crazy about mixing the purple and yellow um but that's okay uh things happen I like still like it kind of like a, a chaos page where even through chaos the Lord is with us and we shouldn't fear because he is with us through the chaos and through the mess that's kind of why I did this page <coughs> I hope you liked it if you're new to my channel please subscribe so you don't miss any fun tutorials on Bible journaling and Happy planner, plan with me videos, and just, I also do, um, my hauls for whatever I do, shopping for my journaling and stuff, those are always a lot of fun, and if you ever have any ideas on something you might want to see, or a verse that you'd like, something that you're not sure what to do on, please leave me a comment down below, and I would be glad to do, to do a page on a particular verse, or a particular subject or topic, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I pray that you'll have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video.